Hi YouTube, Dean here. Right, um, what I want to talk to you about today um, is a subject that I get asked um, a lot of questions about and it concerns um, how you go about deciding uh, or choosing what key to play in um, over a certain riff or chord progression. I get asked this question quite a lot and uh, people basically want to know um, given uh, certain notes or chords or whatever, how do you go about choosing what key to play in? Um, so that's what we're going to look at. Okay, um, we're going to make it um, as simple as possible and I'm just going to choose two notes which is D and E <laughs> Now, when you play a riff in that way, or if, if you were using chords like um, octaves or fifths, now that, that suggests that um, your kind of root or home where you, where you should be home is E. Okay, the D is just being used as a passing tone to E. So, if E is our root, then D is our seventh. Um, and it's of course a flattened seventh. Now we have no third, um, so so it leaves it a little bit ambiguous as to what you can do with it, and. Um, it means you've got a lot of options. Okay, now I've recorded a little loop here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, play the loop, and I'm going to show you uh, three or four different uh, key signatures or modes that you can play just over those two notes. Okay. Okay, so the most obvious would be E minor, natural E minor. Okay, so uh, everything I played there was um, in the key of E minor. But what we need to do is look at all the chord progressions or modes where D occurs as a flat seventh to E. Um, so we can go Mixolydian if we want to. <laughs>
Okay, so that was um, the same notes, but um, we played E Mixolydian over it. Uh, another choice we can um, explore is E Dorian. <laughs> that again has um, a flat seventh. Um, now for those of you not too sure about um, the positions of uh, certain modes, um, if you play uh, an E minor pentatonic scale and then just add of those two notes there makes it E Dorian and I'll give you a demonstration So that was E Dorian. Um, another um, option we can look at, and the last option for the purpose of this lesson, um, which is kind of a little less obvious, uh, is E Phrygian. Again, we have that flat seven. can even use E Phrygian Dominant. Um, to make a Phrygian scale uh, Phrygian Dominant we just put a major third in there. And if you want to give, really give it that kind of um, uh, gypsy scale feel to it. Use a um, major seven. And that creates a kind of four note chromaticism there. Now, on its own, sounds pretty naff. Um, when you play it in the context of the riff and with the other notes, it sounds pretty cool.
you go, just from using two notes, um, we've looked at four different ways in which we can choose um, a key to play in uh, or a mode to play over those notes, uh, each of which gives it a completely different sound and a completely different feel.